Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forrester, and I couldn't wait. I could not wait another day. I need to beat this game. <laughs> so I'm trying it again. I'm going to attempt to get through this. It is the weekend. I've got more time than ever to get through this. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Yes, I should. I should definitely get to my computer and get the night started. But not until I lock up all of these windows. Get everything closed. Also, I want to make sure the volume is high enough so that I can hear things and that so all of you can hear things. We got the crickets, no problem. We got the door opened. Hallways clear. Obviously, nothing's going to happen until I get on the computer. We all know that. That's pretty obvious at this point. <laughs> um, sweet, close, lock. Let's get over here, open the door, and off we go. I was reading a couple guides, like official guides. I know there's been a lot of help in the comments from all of you at home. And you all have amazing tips and tricks. But also, I was reading that there are specific like timers that the killer and Tanner are on. Sorry, kidnapper and Tanner are on. So that we Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. It's the first time she's ever done that. Last night I thought I thought I heard something outside my house, so I promptly checked my security cameras to see what it was and saw a strange man creeping around. Okay. Uh all right. Yeah, we, we already know both of these. <laughs> why does why was that the first time I've heard her speak? All right, let's get these. Let's check the cams. But yeah, I think somebody mentioned that there's like a three percent chance of him coming on the second day, and from what I was reading, that is actually correct. Um, so kudos to you, whoever mentioned that. Also, I need to get these over here. Um, police records, debit card, we've got SIM database, we've got the root kit, we've got DMV, and we've got the social spy. Um, and apparently if you've clicked on the computer twice, anywhere on the computer twice, then that is when there's a chance of Tanner appearing. Um, look around real quick. Make sure none of the lights have turned off randomly at the beginning. I recently hired this DJ for my club. Hot off the underground scene and all my guys and I figured she was ready for the big leagues. She's a weird one though. Okay, yeah, I know about Laura Kruger. Laura, let's pull up your information. She is guilty. She's trying to get a hit out on her boss. So we got female. We have brown and brown. So I just need to find the two pieces of evidence and drop this. Laura Kruger, close, done. It's on her phone. Laura Kruger. Boom. Bam. Done. All right, let's do a new root kit. Yay. Okay. Cracked. Let's just check those cams real quick. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, search history. Best DJ fixing sleep without caffeine. Nope, nothing there. Pictures, some drugs, some drug deals going down, text conversations. We want it with Hendy, I believe, working at Pandemonium. And yeah, he's got like a really crazy thing about taking out his her boss. So let's go ahead and report this. Yay, sweet, nice and easy. This man poisoned my dog with cocaine. Okay, that one we can shred. Next one. Last night I was awoken in the middle of the night by what sounded like a group of men talking directly outside my window. Okay. I've done two already. <laughs> so let's just do a quick survey of the house. We have a, a limited time frame to actually get these checked if the lights go out, because that's when uh, the kidnapper will spawn. We're getting this down, we're getting this down. I, I'm much more familiar with these files too, just from playing multiple times. Uh, last night I was woke in the middle of the night by what sounded like a group of men talking directly outside my window. I went downstairs to get a visual of what they looked like. When I turned on the light, outside lights, they scattered like a bunch of cockroaches. I counted six white men with dark clothing on, walked outside and found they broke some parts off my golf cart in an attempt to steal it, I think. Interesting. 
Um, so we've got 25. I don't recall ever seeing this one. 25 to 35. Height is 5 foot 6. We've got 225 pounds. 200. Oh, there's an exact for 225. So that's even better. Male, brown, and hazel. Search. Let's get it. Oh, there's so many. Okay, what's closest to 5 foot 6? We've got this guy. Uh, not even close to 225, though. Oh, boy. This is going to be a rough time. Okay. I got that all dialed in, right? 25 to 35, 5 foot 6, 225, male, brown, hazel. Uh, I mean, this is the closest to 225. I mean, it's somewhat close to 5 foot 6. I'm going to try Robert Jenkins, see what happens with his information. Uh, I'm just going to search his... <laughs> I'm just going to search his phone. Uh, yeah, Robert... Jenkins. Search it. I gotta do this real quick. I gotta do this real quick. I don't know how long this gameplay is gonna be, by the way. But I'm gonna do my best. Cool. Nice and easy. Search history. 10 tips when starting your own business. Let's move that over. Golf cart replacement cup holder. How much to fix a golf cart blackout side effects? Okay. Just wanna make sure. So obviously we saw Tanner once before. Uh, nothing seems to be here. Uh, text conversations. Darty! <laughs> hey mate, uh, me and the guys got reckless last night and I effed up my neighbor's golf cart. I'm not sure where to go from here. Whether or not it's worth it to fess up to the guy. What's your take? Crap, that's what you guys got into last night? Dina was texting me after I left that you guys were going to get the cops called on the party. Yeah, I effed up and blacked out from the shots Dina made. Can't remember exactly what happened, but Justin made it sound like the guy saw us running away. I mean, you live there, man. I would just make everything square with your neighbor. At worst, you have to pay a couple bucks for the crap you broke, and that's it. If you don't, go come forward. He'll probably be the first one to call the cops on you when you have people over. Yeah, good point. What if the whole thing uh, we have going by trying to save a couple hundred? I'm going to go over there and talk to him tomorrow when I'm not hungover. Okay, cool. So he seems like he's a decent... He's trying to fix fix what happened, um, but not necessarily a police report. It could turn into one if he didn't confess. That's the that's the main thing about that one. Okay, next one. Okay, let's back out. Check the lights. Yeah, check those lights. Okay, waited a bit too long on that, I think. Check the window. Good, 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 good. That one should be fine. I'm going to check the other rooms first while I have the opportunity. It's not likely that two lights will go out at the same time, but it happens. Yes, it happens. Yeah, not super likely, but it does happen. Okay, let's go back to the bathroom. Just because. <laughs> There's no special thing with that. Okay, I'm going to check this window up here. Make sure that that is locked. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we're, we're, we're having a good time so far. We're having a good time. We're almost done with day one. This is going very quickly. Let's check these cameras again. Okay, solid. Uh, Nina Winter, a good family friend of mine, is in college. She recently came back from her break, and she brought back all her stuff as well. Her little cousin is 12 years old and borrowed her USB stick that she brought back to use in a school project. To his horror, there are photos of dead bodies in a room. This one was fine to what I recall. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> I'm glad I'm like remembering these things and getting it down. Night two, here we go. Already starting off really, really strong. Probably jinxing it, but that's cool. It is cool. Cool, lights on in there. So we are good. Yeah, apparently the bathroom light will not turn off on its own. It will only turn off if all of the rest of the lights have already gone off in the house. Um, I do want to just keep checking it just for my sanity's sake, but I at least know that to be true. Okay, locked up with that one. Also, I need to change the batteries on that clock because that clock is wrong. <laughs> okay, close it. Lock it. I'm glad you all are enjoying these videos. It's uh, it's fun for me. Like, I'm really enjoying playing this game and how much of a challenge it is. It's not a normal playthrough, like I've mentioned before. So I'm really glad that you all enjoy kind of going through this with me as I'm struggling. <laughs> And that it's not just a bore or or whatever else you may say. Um, let's get some upgrades. I want to go ahead and do the... I feel like the social search is just garbage. Um, I 
I mean, I guess I could do the... Just so that I get the IMEI, like, immediately. Oh, I don't have to type the name in. That could be helpful. Um, that's all I'm going to buy right now. That's all I'm going to buy today. I can always buy more. All right. Lonhart Ramirez. I can't tell you how much... Uh, I can't tell you much about this guy to avoid leaking my own identity. I'm in some deep crap here. I owe him quite a bit of money, and Mr. Ramirez doesn't take kindly to those who keep wanting... Keep waiting on his money. Ooh, that's interesting. All right. So we've got mail black and hazel I don't recall this one so let's take a look okay we're fine we're fine when he jumps at you he hasn't actually spawned in or around the house it's literally just a jump scare <laughs> all right Lonhart let's check your phone copy paste there's that three percent Okay, what do you got for me? Uh, I got an invitation from a friend a few weeks ago to a poker, poker game. When I got there, the atmosphere was off. It looked like everyone at the table already knew they were going to run my, run me dry before I even sat down, and that's darn well what happened. Now I'm in a tough spot. A guy with that kind of money definitely has connections all over. Going to police isn't an option without giving someone at the station my personal details. They won't do anything with my anonymous tip. I hope you guys can help me instead. Please, if the guy stays free on the streets, I don't know what will happen to me. I need two pieces of evidence. Liquor store, fine furniture store, upscale department store, maps, age of consent laws by country, dark web access portal encryption for phone police surveillance laws benjamin palomino uh stolex wristwatches the art of blackmail international shipping companies shipping container thailand to america asia to america cheapest oh gosh this guy's got some really wacky search history um okay it looks like he's doing some child trafficking is what this seems like check these again since i've done a couple searches i'm gonna get up for my desk Check to see that the lights are still on. 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 Bathroom's good. <laughs> uh, always gotta check the bathroom. All right, let's see. Cameras, just make sure. Just wanna make sure. Apparently there's sound cues for him, but I still don't know what that means. Time to make good on your debt. I'll have the money to you soon, I promise. Please, just give me some more time. I've got something else in mind that's far more valuable than a measly gambling debt. I have a job for you. What kind of job is it? Simple collection job. It's been arranged. I just need someone to drive somewhere, pick up uh, some people, and drive them somewhere else. Then your debt is scored away. Okay, what do you want me to do? A ship is getting ready to depart from Taiwan, uh, Taiwan as we speak, carrying fish and other goods to USA. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. This seems pretty incriminating. Let's drop that. Black hat. The truck was caught. I don't understand those noises. I don't understand those noises. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, my contact in the PD says it's a snatch and transit route, uh, routine traffic stop caught him with all the women still inside. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. And, we're going to go ahead and drop that guy and we're going to report this. Nice. Okay, we got it. Jim Knobwood. Recently, the neighborhood weirdo started up a yard sale. He had some interesting stuff out. Vintage vinyl, old comic books, some ready clothes. Oh, yes. Okay, I recall this one as well. Male, bald, and blue eyes. I don't I don't remember exactly if he was innocent or not, but Jim had some really iffy clothing that had some weird smells emanating from them. Um, I believe he also does trafficking of some sort. And these are the clothes. Oh, no, it's uh, homeless people. Homeless people. Yeah, yeah, how to get homeless people out of my area. Um, I don't care that some people are less fortunate than me. I feel like poor people take up space. This guy's got some awful, awful thought processes to him. What kind of person thinks like that? Honestly. All right, good, 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 good. Lights are on, lights are on, lights are on. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Can't lock the front door just to make sure you all are aware. All right, pictures. He's got a lot of pictures of homeless people. Uh, don't really know what else. Zach. Hey, man, you want to go homeless hunting? Yep, there it is. All right, done. Two pieces of evidence. File it. Solid. Next one. Unknown. <sighs> it's 
chicle in the window. Okay, should be good. What do those sounds even mean? Is that just Tanner, like... Just playing with me? Okay, I'm going back in here. Let me guess, he's gonna be in the house now? That he, like, rumbled the window? No? It's fine, actually. I don't know how we're good. Cool, cool. All right, close it. All right, we've got unknown. Owl. Go! We seem fine. We seem to be fine. Okay, the school district's been limiting itself to, like, one photography company for a few years now. There's a photographer in the roster that's been acting strange around kids. This guy's fine. Shred it. Nice. All right, Isabella Rolden. What was that? Never heard that sound before. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You run out of here. Okay, he just disappeared. That's the first time I've seen him come from that area, I think. Uh, I've known Isabella for a couple of years now. She's always been the first one to start screaming when there's an argument. You know that tactic where you ladder, you are the more right you are. Anyway, in her last fiery heat of rage, she was yelling at her boyfriend and threatened to kill him. Or so her boyfriend Alex tells me. I was outside and saw him packing some things and walked over and asked me if he was going to trip or something. He said he needed some time apart from Isabella and that he was going to a hotel for a week. Uh, until things cooled down. The past triathlon of arguments must have really done a number on Alex's psyche to make him not feel safe in his own home. Kind of makes you think if the threat on his life was serious. Okay, I remember reading this one, but I don't recall the outcome. We got brown. Eyes are green. Search. Let's just pull up her data. Uh, Isabella. There she is. No alias. Phone. Actually, was that right? Yes, it is. Copy. Paste. Let's check it out. Probably a light out, if I were to guess. But let's just get going. Okay. Got it. Cameras, real quick. Check the lights. Okay, good in the living room. Nice, nice. That room's good. That room's good. That room's good. Perfect. Bathroom's solid. All right, we're, we're, doing, we're doing a good thing. We're doing a good thing. <laughs> okay. Does he love me quiz? Track my device. Nah, that's not really evidence. I'll keep that in mind, though. Uh, husband, people, squirrel. <laughs> Text conversations. Alex, love, love, love. Babe, where are you? Alex, what the F? I thought you loved me. Where are you? Mother ever answer me. Babe, I learned until I was going to be late meeting... Bet you're late because of Brittany, isn't it? It's her again. If you want to spend so much time with her, then effing date her. Okay, again. Brit is married. She's just work friend. Ah, okay. Yeah, because your budget. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. We're done. You literally threatened to kill me. You're effing nuts. I didn't mean it. You know, I didn't mean it. Baby, I'm sorry. Please come back. Message cannot be delivered. <laughs> okay. What about Rachel? Girl, you're never going to believe the hottie I saw at the gym today. Okay, I remember this slightly. Thanks for the call. I'll think about it. I've got sight on... Uh, hmm. Wait, what is this? Mm -hmm. And it's definitely not your fault that you didn't even think check for evidence before you accuse the guy who literally has been by your side for two years. Okay, yeah, she just has a rough past. And she didn't trust her man. Starla, female, blonde and blue. Blonde and blue. I am blazing through these right now. This is amazing. Oh, gosh. Starla, 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 Starla. Martin. Done. Done. Close. Cameras. There's no sound cues yet. Let's get up. Let's go take a, take a quick stroll around the house. Lights are on. Lights on. Light is on. <gasps> Hi, Tanner. Okay. Uh, the whole point of him being in the house, you just don't open the door. That's it. You just don't open the door. There was no sound cue for him that time. Um, I just need I need three more. I think I know who set the fire to the house. Where that poor family for the one with the twin babies died. Oh, that's right. Starla, you have a weird pyrotechnic tendency to you. So I'm going to go ahead and report her.
nice and easy. Search history. Uh, best places to buy gas. Gas station, best storage unit, 19 Morris Avenue. Best pointers, yoga, local gym, pictures. Um, yeah, probably this one as evidence. And text conversations. Mom. Uh, let's see. The house on fire. Mom. Okay, done. Close. Report. Nice. Mini how. Mini how. I remember. I recall this one actually. And even though he's in my closet, there's an opportunity for him. Wow. <laughs> Good timing. There's an opportunity for him to actually be back outside again. Like he'll leave. But you're still not supposed to open the closet just in case until the next day. That's the only time it is safe to reopen this closet. Otherwise, he will be in there 99% uh, of the time. All right, I feel so wrong doing this. Honestly, I know Mr. Howe works tirelessly to take care of her sick father and all, but lately she's been acting a touch strange. Maybe it's the stress of it all. Who knows? Her father used to hire some of the neighborhood boys to mow the lawn since he couldn't uh, lousy back and all, right? Miss Howe decided to continue the tradition. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Nico went over, mowed the lawn, accidentally stepped on one of their flower beds, and she flipped out. Um, so female, brown, and brown search let's get this going let's get this going mini how i'm not too sure if hers was a case of like she just was like freaking out or if like she actually had weird things going on how to properly raise daisies best at home clear bipolar disorder treatment um so i thought she was gonna hurt him with garden shears okay maybe that's a piece of evidence we don't know yet Go back, pictures, it's all flowers, and the old man, text conversations, Ursula caretaker. Hi, Minnie, I'm Ursula Sai. You're posting on Tom's list. I figured I'd apply. I have 10 years. Hi, Ursula, thanks for the text, but I think I've changed my mind and decided to take care of my father myself. Best of luck. Miss Kobach, what do you think you're doing threatening my son? What do you think? I apologize if you're offended, but your son purposely stepped on my flower patch. I simply told him to step off. If he told you anything else, he's lying. You're calling my son a liar? You're psychotic. One more misstep and I'll report you to the neighborhood watch, to the authorities, whatever. Just because your father's terminal doesn't mean you don't have the right to threaten my children. I'm in the right here, and we both know it, but go ahead. Waste your time. And then Davey, wow, did you hear the news? Congrats, cutie. What news? You won a award for best garden in the community. Uh, they mentioned something about your sick dad. I figured it would... Uh, okay, Law sounds like he's doing well. Basically muted, but... No, do you think you could tell we're going to stuff him into a nursing home? Law, well, he wouldn't need to get uh, to guess. I joked about it the other day, and the next morning he suddenly became receptive. Dad's always been a bit of a troll. Haha. <laughs> so I'm going to use Miss Kovac. I'm going to report it. I might be wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. I think she's just upset. She's just a little strange. <sighs> Sad I got that one wrong, though. That's never fun. Okay, one wrong... Four wrongs remaining. If that even makes sense. Okay, bathroom is still good. I'm always checking the bathroom. Bathroom is the most important room in the entire house. <laughs> All right, I was behind this lady at the park and overheard her talking about how she had finally taken care of her husband and how he wasn't going to be a problem anymore. She seemed very confident and relieved speaking about these things. All right, age is going to be 50 to 60. Height, five foot exactly, according to the witness. Weight is 120 pounds. I never understood how someone could estimate someone else's weight. I am, I could never do that. I look at someone, I'm like, Ugh, damn it. Internet went out again. What? I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. I've never heard her say that. <laughs> She's never said that before. It was, and there hasn't been an update to the game. I'm very confused. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I mean, at least there's an audio cue to let me know, other than the bloom noise. All right, is Tanner going to kill me now for some reason? Somehow? Light's still on. Good, 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 good. Light's still on. All right. We're fine. We're fine. We're solid. <laughs> All right, back on the computer. What time is it? It's 1.20. We got plenty of time to do this last one. All right, so we've got gray hair. Sorry, <laughs> gray hair and blue eyes. There we go. Search unknown. Erica, did you take care of your husband? Did you put him in a home? Did you kill him? What did you do? What did you do? Ooh, 
I had barely any time left on that. Uh, divorce attorney, how to build a legal defense, how to disappear. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I need three pieces of evidence. I think I missed that on the last one. Um, pictures, bruises. I mean, sure, why not? Text conversations. And, okay, I think I'm actually all set. I think I'm going to leave him. That's awesome. Do you need a place to stay? Say the word and I'll, you're an angel, Annie. I'll let you know when it's final. Uh, Lionel. Let me check the cameras. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you'll be effing sorry you mess with me. F you. You think you'll find anything better at your age. You're disgusting. I'll effing find you no matter where you go. You can't do this to me after everything I give you. Uh, I'll be sending this to my lawyer along with all the pictures of my bruises. They'll lock you up and you'll never... Okay, so she's actually fine. We got it right. Cool. Finally, can you go to bed early for once? Okay, no tanner. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, night three. We are sailing. We are absolutely sailing through this. What a miracle. All the lights are still on. I don't know how. Oh, okay. Almost all the lights are still on. <laughs> all right, closed, locked. I, I am I'm having the best time right now. This is amazing. Okay, that light's also off. Lock it. Yeah, get out. You're not in my closet anymore, Tanner. Okay. Uh, that's... That's locked. This one is open. <laughs> and it's locked. Alright, cool, cool. We're having a grand old time. We're all locked up. It's back on the computer. Night three. Let's go. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, boom, blam. <laughs> All right, new report. Uh, upgrades, I got 45, so I can get two more. Um, yeah, why not? Okay, Barry Wright. I saw Barry this morning on his way to work, and he had these fresh scratches on the side of his neck as if someone had clawed him. Some marks disappeared beneath his polo shirt, too. They didn't look at, like they came from the animal, either. Usually, I get a pleasant vibe from Barry when I bump into him. Barry, what do you got going on in your personal life? <laughs> Uh, brown and hazel eyes. Let's search it. Let's check these cameras after I do the search. Who knows? Tanner might be running. Uh, Barry, 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 right. There he is. Why you gotta knock him? <laughs> I just checked the cameras too. Okay. We got Barry White. No police records. Sim, copy, paste, connect it. Let's get this one. That was close. <laughs> All right, Barry. GHB overdose, alcohol and gamma hydro zybutyric. Is there an actual truth serum? A homemade truth serum. Local young single ladies. Like ocean water, salt. Wait, what? How to dig a hole deep enough for a body? Pictures. Oh, oh. He is abducting and killing people. And the scratches are definitely from somebody who is trying to kill him. Uh, or was trying to stay alive. Dude, why are you not answering your phone? I have an emergency. <laughs> okay. Just want to get up real quick. Take a quick look around. It's so effing late, dude. What do you want? Carol, the one with the big... Uh, I knew she was a lightweight, but she's effing dead. She overdosed, I think. Not breathing. I saw her eyes glaze over and she won't move. I can't go through this again. Again? I gotta get rid of her. If the cops find out... <laughs> All right, yep, that's one. Carol, weak. So where were you thinking, handsome? How about an evening stroll in the park? <sighs> I have some fresh baked sea salt caramel brownies my mom made, and there's a crap ton of GHB in my car. That's definitely a garage door opening. It's definitely a garage door opening noise. How am I supposed to deal with that? There's never anyone outside. I'll scratch my nose. Oh, there's the owl. There's the owl. Oh, I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. Or Tanner's gonna kill me. Oh. Who? Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I may have lost. 
I think I may have lost. Uh, yeah, I guess that sounds nice. We can go somewhere for dinner beforehand. Okay, Carol. I'm gonna put Carol down right there. Joy. Hey, you got any GHB fresh out of the tub? It's effing strong though. Perfect. Can I come by tomorrow? No, I'll meet you at Cindy's Burgers. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Well, I don't need you. Text me middle. Okay, Mickey. GHB, I'm blocking this number. I'm gonna use all three of these to report it. This better work. Good, 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 good. Herbert Winter. Let's check these cameras again. The AC is on in this house. I don't know what that means exactly. Herbert Winter. Male, gray, and brown. Search. Cameras. Okay. Herbert. Herbert Winter. There you are, sir. Police records. He does have a police record. Let's see what the actual thing is. My longtime neighbor, Mr. Winter, came by. Okay. Uh, came by for a visit a few days ago. I didn't want to be rude, so I let him in, although I was doing my homework with my son. Anyway, I noticed something odd when he uh, saw the looks he, this man gave to my son. I dismissed it as a crazy notion and even let the man help with his homework. So far, so good. But yesterday, he approached my 12-year-old son outside his school. Okay. So, child predator. Mr. Winter was spotted as he was trying to hand a parcel of heroin to a 13-year-old boy. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely evidence. Um, <laughs> Herbert, you got to stop that. <laughs> you got to stop giving drugs to young kids. Done. Cams, and then I'm going to get up. I'm always so scared to, to get up from my computer. It's locked. I gotta check the other rooms real quick. There might be another light out. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Gotta check this real quick. Okay, still locked. Let's go through the bathroom. <laughs> Just because I love this place. It is so calm, so relaxing in this tiny little room. Okay, door is still closed. No tanner. Yet. We have an airplane. Don't know what the airplane means. Maybe it's a guise for him to make some extra noise. So may as well look at the cameras when any noise is happening. Uh, Herbert Winter. Let's check your search history. Video games for 16-year-olds. Creepy already. Uh, how to change a car license plate. Abandoned places in the area. Smuggling laws by state. How to contain orders. The clean box. Xbox. Uh, Z-Box point cards. How to trick a drug dog. Yeah, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Let me guess. You got pictures of little kids? You weirdo. You freak. He's got abandoned places. PlayStation controller. Anonymous. Abandoned places. Text conversations. Boss. Hey, boss. I'm sorry to disturb you so late in the evening, but I would like to cancel my late shift this weekend for the reason uh, for this is that my mother passed away a few minutes ago, and I would like to visit my sister. Hello, everybody. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. I want to share my condolences. Kyle. I found two more that will carry our lunch boxes to the stash house for the points for the point cards. It's amazing. Beautiful. I told you those Z-Box card would reel those brats in. Okay, yeah, that's that's weird. All right, you are getting reported, and you're going to jail. Nice. <laughs> Nico Sanchez. I'm getting a ton of new ones this time around. Uh, I'm friends with Priscilla Sanchez. Recently, she got out of the hospital. Check the cameras. I'm going to get up and just take a quick look. Yeah, we're fine. I turned off two lights, like, less than a minute ago, so we should be good. Uh, mail gray and gray Ooh, double gray nico where you at there you are bloop close police records yes um work friends with priscilla sanchez recently she got out of the hospital and has been working from home until she's strong enough to make the commute again wanting to surprise her and check in on how she was doing i purchased a small care package and went over to drop it off when i got to her place i rang the doorbell and waited for priscilla to answer when she opened the door i noticed some heavy makeup around the, her eye shocked that this poor lady couldn't catch a break i asked what happened she shrugged it off as nothing just her having trouble getting used to using crutches around the house she accepted the gift with a smile but quickly ushered me away saying her husband was coming home from work soon and i needed to leave before he got back Uh, before he got back. While her story is believable that she hurt herself using crutches, why'd she need to rush me off her property? I can't imagine the husband Nico would find people coming to his wish his wife speed recovery bad thing. Responding to domestic disturbance reported by a neighbor of Nico and Maria. So yeah, he is not good to his wife. Surprise, surprise, old Nico. You weirdo. All these people are terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah! Dang it! Okay, that's frustrating. Because I have to wait so long for that to come back. Okay. A good time to go monitor the house. Go check on my rooms. Why do I have so many bedrooms for a single person? <laughs> it's not like I'm using these other ones as an office. My office is literally my living room. <laughs> Why do I need this? Okay. All right. Back at it. Let's sit down. There was a van that drove by, so let's check the cameras again. Boom. Bam. Blah. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Um, still an error. I'm going to, I guess, check his debit card for Nico Sanchez while well, we got the time, obviously. There goes my internet. I guess that's perfect timing. I guess. <laughs> Not ideal, but it's it's pretty convenient timing overall. And what happens if the power goes out and I'm running back to go... Sorry, not the power. The internet goes out and I'm running back to go turn the router on and I miss an opportunity to catch Tanner. Like, what do I what do I do in that situation? Am I just screwed? Or, or what? Like, I don't have that many opportunities to catch him. It's just by the light. Um... Rootkit. Okay, rootkit is back. Copy, paste. Let's go. I'm gonna get this one. You can't move it too fast or else you won't be able to hear the cue. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's frustrating. <laughs> that double one is really hard. Uh, and this is just gonna get even harder the longer this goes on the further the nights go. Check cameras, I guess. Okay. All right, what do you got for me? He's got Bison, Bobblehead, Bison's Highlights TV, DVD, Logo Sports Bag, Pocket Knife. Okay. Beer Class, Pesco Mart, Off-Brand Beer, Potato Chips, Salsa. Nothing surprising within that. Copy, paste. He's got no alias. Let's see what we can find. Oh, this is taking way too long. Go Bisons! Can we, uh, can someone sh show me how to block my wife on this website, please? <laughs> how do you set this thing up? I'm an old man. I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, man, I gotta wait so long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose on this because of this. Because of two misses back to back. I mean, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good thing I came. Oh, I think I heard something in the bushes. Either that or was my own footsteps. It's hard to differentiate those sometimes. Okay, the lights are still on here. Okay, eye me eyes back up. I swear, if I don't get this, I'm just quitting. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Go time. Thank goodness. All right, search history. Bison, 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 bison. Makeup for women. Skin tone makeup for women. How to hide a black eye with makeup. Uh, yeah, that's that's a little sketch. How to hide black eye with makeup, pictures, nothing, text conversations, Priscilla. Can you pick up some milk for me while you're out, please? Get it yourself. You've got legs. My ankles are swollen. I can hardly stand up. And so, okay, yeah, he's, well, don't see busting your butt like I do. Make ends meet. Maybe you had, I'm disabled. You certainly know that. Okay. Yeah, he's an awful person. Let's report him. Wee! Cool. Don Keenan. Let's go to the next one. All right, ever since Don's wife disappeared last year, he's been acting weird. In that situation, you expect someone to be upset, but almost comical about it. I hear him weeping loudly in the house as if he wants everyone to hear. Last week... I don't know what's going on. Uh, last week he put up this gaudy memorial shrine of his wife Emily in the middle of his lawn with fake flowers, candles, and tinsel. I'm pretty sure I saw a scantily dressed woman follow him into the house last late last night. Her noises sound a lot like 
loud sex, but I can't be sure it wasn't that phony crying he's been doing. It's gross and creepy, whatever is happening. That's an interesting one. <laughs> Gray and Hazel. All right, Don Keenan. This, uh, this story sounds familiar, but I don't recall if I ever got a chance to actually complete it. Uh, police report. Officer Perkins arrived on scene with myself. 911. Requested backup due to undecided nature of the call. The street was deserted. We proceeded to run back. Mr. Keenan did not resist arrest and was uh, polite during booking. The victim was later pronounced dead for over 40 hours by EMTs. Um, Shown a flashlight into the back passenger window resulting in a male shout and the vehicle subsiding its movement. I moved to cover the driver's side of the vehicle, shining my own flashlight to the window. Mr. Keenan was seen by both officers with his hands inside the prostitute's chest cavity. He removed himself from the prostitute without the threat of force, but a station-issued weapon was held in position and Mr. Keenan exited the vehicle. I assisted the woman out of the vehicle and immediately radioed for paramedics. Wait, what? Mutilation, desecration of a corpse, solicit solicitation of a prostitute, and illegal parking. What? <laughs> Yo, dude, you got... You got some weird stuff going on in your life. He has hands inside of a corpse. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, what a weirdo. What an absolute weirdo. Okay, we're good, we're good. I'm trying not to rush these files. Uh, like, I'm going fast reading through them and just kind of doing, like, the Cliff Notes version when doing the reading. Um, but, like, I, I'm actually being careful with what I'm checking on. I'm not getting it. Oh! Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Search history. Proper response to grief, how to act sad. Okay. Uh, homemade knockout gas. Wait, what the heck? What, is he, what are you doing, dude? Uh, pictures of spiders and a woman. Cameras. I'm spooked. I'm scared. I'm ready for it. Uh, Daniel, I know you're getting these texts. I know, I know you know something about Emily's disappearance. The more you ignore me, the more my case against you grows. We all go through our grief differently, Daniel. In this instance, we are different. I don't run my mouth off accusing people of murder without evidence. You said murder, not me. If you think Emily was murdered, then why are you hiding behind your grief? Help me work on this investigator. If you ever gave a F about my sister, you'll help me. I heard something. Well, that scared me really bad. Okay, that one's locked. <laughs> the footsteps on the carpet are awful. Like, I don't know if I need to make that clear, but it is really scary. Because it sounds like someone else is walking around in the house sometimes. Like, not me. <laughs> Tanner? Okay, door is still open. We're good, we're good, we're good. How much time do I have left today? This is only day three. It's 1.47. We got... We got plenty of time. We already got all three of these. I just need four more to end the night. Um, Daniel's a potential. Amelia, did you get the insurance check yet? They have a longer grace period before they mark a missing person as dead. I told you this. It'll be a couple more months. I can't believe you did all this and didn't think to check the fine print. At this rate, I'll be effing December before we can go to Hawaii. Yeah, that's some definite evidence there, Amelia. Unknown. We know what you did. Okay. I think all of these should be good. Actually, here. I'm going to drop that one out. I'm going to bring Daniel's in. Daniel's in. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna report it. It should be good. Nice. Okay. A three again. Alfred Taylor. Got the aeroplane. Nothing. It's no secret that Mr. Taylor's business is going down the gutter. For several years, he's been drawing from his savings to keep the place afloat, but there's rumor going around that he's financing his life's dream through criminal groups for whom he provides his shop as a hiding place. I don't know if that's true, but he's always been one to keep to himself and secret about what he does in his little conversations I've had with the guy. Interesting. Male, brown, and brown. Brown and brown. Alfred Taylor. Let's find him up. Alfred Taylor. Alfred Taylor. Alfred Taylor. Bloop. 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Let's go time. Let's go time. Let's go time. Oh, what's the big one? Nice. Stop knocking on the window. Stop knocking on the window. Stop knocking on the window. This game is spooky. This game is spooky scary. 
That's like an immediate sign just to go <laughs> check out the rest of the rooms. I feel like I do run the risk of uh, him coming and coming up here though when I do that. Okay, let's go, let's go. Alright, search history. How does social media work? News, loan comparison, calculate property price, pictures, drinks, fishing, fishing, text combos, Carla. Alfred, it's the middle of the night and you're still at home. I'm terribly sorry, Carla, but I have work to do at the store. I'll be home soon. I'm going to bed, Alfred. Sleep tight. I'll get to it soon. Robert. Robert, I really need 2000 2000 are you serious? I gave you 650 last week and 500 the week before that. You're gonna, what are you going to do with all that money? I'm in deep crap, Robert. I took out a loan. If I don't pay it off by the end of the week, they're going to take the store from me. You've done enough for this place by now. You're giving up all your money for it. If it's no longer profitable, just sell the shop and make a nice retirement for you and Carla. This place is my life. I've been doing this for 35 years, and just because things aren't going well right now doesn't mean I can't get out of this crap. Just let me pay off the loan. I swear you'll have the money back by the end of the year. Sometimes you have to start something new and get rid of old things to be happy. I know this place is everything to you, but you have a wonderful wife who's waiting for you at home, two great kids who just don't want to inherit debts when you're gone. Think about your family for a change. But what will happen to me? This place is pretty much my reason to get up early in the morning. It's not so easy. We'll find a solution for this. For 35 years I've known you, you've been working your nose to the grindstone. Now go to your woman. Believe me, she'll, you'll miss her. Uh, I've been thinking maybe you're right. This place is nothing but trouble to me at this point. How about you come by sometime in a couple days and I'll uh, three of this talk. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to rent it out. Dot, dot, dot. Glad to hear you've come to your senses. I'll come by tomorrow. That seems a little suspicious, but nothing crazy. Um, property prices, loan comparison. Yeah, there, there's nothing crazy going on with this one. I'm gonna check the cameras. It's been a little bit. Um, oh, it's almost three. Crap. Uh, 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 uh. Alfred Taylor. Search him up. What do you got? Irish cream whiskey. Dargit. Chocolate. Roses. Other things. Okay. Fine, actually. I think he's innocent. I think he legitimately is just trying to rent this place out. Because I would need more evidence. Yeah, we're shredding it. There's no way. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Roy McNulty. Again, this one sounds somewhat familiar. Not super. That's good timing. Got it right when it went out. <laughs> Alright, time to check the other rooms. Still night three. We're not doing too bad. Okay, glad I came in here. Okay, it's still locked. <laughs> we solid, we solid. We good, no tanner, yet. Bathroom light is on, as it should be. <laughs> okay, back at the computer, let's go. Check the cameras, now that I'm back in here. All right, cool. Roy set up a biannual scarathon for the community. Male, gray, and blue. Search. Uh, Roy, there he is. Roy! Roy is our boy. No police records, there's the sim. Copy, paste. Let's just get that phone right up and running. Crap, crap. Oh, almost messed that. Roy set up a biannual scarathon for the community. He uses an old projector to screen a bunch of different thingies. To screen a bunch of classic horror movies in the backyard for the entire neighborhood. The whole thing is a blast. Everyone from the kids to adults love it when they come around. If it wasn't enough, Roy even set the scene with his props and decorations to the entrance you have to pass through. This past one left me questioning some of the decorations Roy put up. Now I have to mention pretty much everyone is friendly with him. Hell, even we've even had him over for a barbecue once or twice. Since that last scarathon, I've been questioning myself long enough and wanted to report this here in case there's an actual anything malicious happening. See, Roy being the hardcore horror movie aficionado he is, some of the photos he puts up look almost too good, like they could be real. How much does a 7mm movie projector go for? Movies, 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 horror films, forums, pictures. Okay, it looks like horror movie things. Maybe? I'll use that as an evidence just in case. Oops. Text conversations. Grady. Grady, I got a friend who uh, we need to do something special for. I'm going to be her first time in the area and she'll be coming all the way down for the Scarathon since I got to pick the last one. It's only fair I throw it over to you this time. Thanks, boss. Hmm, I'm in on a tug of war between Friday the 19th and Alabama Chainsaw Massacre. I just can't decide if you have a coin flip. <gasps> oh 
<laughs> oh, I didn't even realize the time was running out. <laughs> okay, we're on night four. Nice. Very nice. Oh man, it is too dark in here. Much too dark. Okay, I really, I really messed that up. I didn't get enough files. Did not get anywhere near enough files. <laughs> oh, I'm spooked. I am spooked. Oh, I was really hoping I could figure that one out. Um, that was a very interesting case file. He's a horror aficionado. And either he had real pictures of gore and, like, human dismemberment, or it was just part of his props. And I wanted to know. It would have helped me. <laughs> For the future. Okay, locked up. Turn on this light. Get back on the computer. Okay. Close. Lock. And locked. Night four, let's do this. I'm finally gonna get to night five. I I bet on it. <laughs> Upgrades. Why not? I've got five keys. Uh I'm gonna do instant social just just in case. Why not? All right, bringing this over. Kenneth Riley. Check the cams. Just as about a bunch of upgrades. You never know. Uh, there's been a white rundown looking van in Kenny's driveway since Sunday. So we got mail, hair color, black and brown. Search. Kenneth Riley, where are you at? Kenneth Riley. There he is. Done. Done. Sim. Copy. Always do this first in case I fail it, because then I can get the other things done. Go ahead. Nice. Okay. Cams. Let's check it out. There's been a white rundown van. It's leaking oil on the sidewalk and smells like a restroom when I pass by it on the morning walks. I sent my husband Har Harold over to him uh, to ask him to move the van since it's ruining the neighbor's uh, jogging route, but he didn't answer the door despite us knowing he's home. I can see him through the big bay window on the front of his house. I know he's in there, but he's not answering his phone, and the van is starting to stink to the end of the street. Even mulligans can smell it. I also heard from Lorraine that he's been working under the hood of the van late at night. I guess there's something wrong with it. That's why he... Why he won't move it. I'm gonna check out here real quick. I feel like I heard something. We're doing good. We're doing we're doing well. We're doing well. Ooh, so far we've been good with the lights to where the kidnapper has not been able to break in or even like be at the windows. Okay, search history, oil leak in 87 VG, carburetors, best stain remover, funeral parlor cleaning methods. That's definitely some evidence. Uh, oops, pictures. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, definitely this one. <laughs> Uh, text conversations, ball. I'm itching to get the van up and ready again. Murder Matt is the only reason I get up in the morning these days. I told you we need a new carburetor and I'm not an effing mechanic. If you want to come and hose the van in, my, in the suburbs, then be my guest. I'm sorry, Ari. I just need to F a B up, you know? Look, I've got a bunny in my basement right now. Come over and sl <laughs> Yeah, this guy's, this guy's awful. Okay, one out of four. I just need four for the night. Cams real quick. We're good. Jason Floyd, male, gray, blue, search. Jason Floyd, there he is. Boom, bam, close, sim, copy, search. And we're gonna get this. We are gonna get this. Nice. Not, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. <clears throat> I was watching a horror movie in my home when I heard screaming coming from over the house over. Okay. I have to flinch every time I get up from the computer, just in case. Just in case. I'm expecting it. I am expecting it to happen. Okay. We are on it this time. We are absolutely on it. <laughs> Oh, it stresses me out. All right, Jason, I was watching horror movies. I paused the movie and it looked up. I went to try to see what was going on at the Jason's house. I noticed a couple extra cars in front of his home and in his driveway. The screaming had stopped, so I chalked it up to the crazy party antics or something that continued watching my movies. Okay. 
Okay, there's a van and the plane. Nothing outside, though. Okay, we're good, we're good. Um, I could swear they weren't coming from my speakers, but rather from his house. Anyway, when I looked at the window, I saw red substance splatter across the inside of his living room window. Uh, something similar happened next door. If I was partial witness, to something terrible. Okay, search history. How to pronounce imbecile. Stain removing techniques. That's one. Uh, pictures. Acting, acting, acting. Text conversations. Dave Tremaine. Hey, what time tonight? 6.30. If you can swing it, Anne's going to be late, though. No, no rush. Cool, cool. See you then. Reminder that we moved up to tomorrow. We open next week. So you there early. Gotcha. What are we running? Act two. Basically, you just and going at each other. Still get some uh, accent slipping on the intense parts of the scene. Okay, there are actors. Let's go ahead and shred it. Should be good. And we are. Awesome. Kelly Hughes. Cams. This really is a whole method. This is a whole scene of work to be done. This is my best playthrough yet, so far. Oh, oh, I saw you. That was close. That was really close. Okay. So I despawned him. So that means Tanner and him shouldn't be coming for like another two minutes or, or something ridiculous like that. The time gets smaller the further into the days you are. Um, so I'm sure I don't have much time. The little boy Jonah has been taking piano lessons. Okay, I gotta get this done. Uh, female, blonde, and gray. Search, I just wanna get that IMEI right off the bat. Kelly Hughes, I recall this name, but let's see what the actual file is so that way I can get it. Piano instructor, piano instructor. I think she was fine, but I just want to double check. It's double. Cool. Search history, lesson planner, grand piano, as a piano, how much should I charge for lessons? Oh no, she is, she is bad. She is bad, using self-harm to control urges. Back, she's got like, uh, yeah, she's got something crazy going on with her. I need four pieces of evidence, by the way. Um, how's the piano lesson going? Who's this? You think you can just take a deal, start playing piano? Okay. Dorothy, Miss Hughes, my son's piano instructor is about to retire. I was wondering if I could take lessons. Why? Well, yes, you're in luck. I do have a room. Perfect. We'll be there. Sorry to bother you, Miss Hughes, but I'll only be able to drop on my son. I sure can. I'll keep a watch while I am. Thank you. You're terrific. Nothing awful there. I'm going to set this to the side in case I need it. Uh, Kelly, she does have a police report. I'm going to go ahead and use this. That's four pieces of evidence. That should be good. I'm going to go ahead and report it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is a miracle that that just worked. Yeah, uh, police report and the phone are really the big factors on this that we need to be looking at. Other than that, like, there's, you just need supporting evidence if you can't find anything elsewhere. And I know that this is going to get even harder as we go along. Okay, just want to make sure. <laughs> I hear some noises outside. Does that mean Tanner? Wow, these went out quick. Let's go check this. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, okay. No tanner. Bathroom. Great. Door's still open. Lights are still on. Okay. I need to be more watchful. <sighs> okay. This one is all unknown. So what we got? 20 to 25. 20 to 25. Height, 6 foot. I really hope I find one person with this. Weight is 155. 150, 175. Male, brown and brown. Brown and brown, search. Close hers. <sighs> Scott or Jack? Uh, that's closer to both of these, really. Jack Kent. Um, keep this off to the sides. Check these cams again. There's the owl. What does it mean, though? Okay, we're fine, I guess. While I was talking to Landsport Liquors and Wine, I heard a yelling around the back of the store. I headed around to see what the, what the commotion was and saw a man shaking a young girl against the side of the store. He turned around and looked at me, but his face, his face just looked not real. All right, Jack Kent. Oh, this is the one! Oh, I know which one this is! Oh, he's the leather face guy. Is going on? Some noise is going on. Uh, 
I'm just gonna check. I, I know exactly what his case file is, so I can do it real quick. I just need to pull up. Yeah, he like captures people. He's a, yeah, he's a killer. <laughs> That's the one I was freaking out about last time. All right, cool. Check the cameras again since I'm here. I'm wondering when my computer is gonna disconnect from Wi-Fi. Pictures, Leatherface. Let's just look at this one more time. Eh! <laughs> Search history, preserving human skin. Uh, how to make my own masks for leather. I don't feel human masks for sale. Can you make leather from human skin? Disgusting. Uh, text conversations, mom. Whatever happens next is your fault. And search history. What was the other one here? Oh, oh, oh. Light just went out. <laughs> that was the worst one yet. <laughs> That was the worst one. That was the worst one. That was the absolute worst one. <laughs> I can't get past night four. I can't get past night four. I really want to. I cannot get past night four. Um, I don't want to cheat. Like, I know some people will pull up, like, document files on another computer screen. It's not necessarily cheating. It's just being resourceful in that way. I want to play the game the way it's meant to be, which is you actually have to memorize and find the files and find the pieces of evidence. But, man, I don't know what I did wrong there. I felt like I was really being careful. I didn't have any... I only had one missed. I was on night four. I knew exactly what I was getting. Um... There was no sound cue for him coming into my house. I had just recently checked around and the light had just turned off when I got off the computer. That's why I got up and that's why I got jump scared because uh, I heard the living room light go out. So, shoot. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, honestly, like I, I, I wanna keep playing it and I know this was supposed to be the new series that we wanted to go through and to play. And I'm sure it's very fun for people to watch me get jump scared. But for others, again, I, I only get I only get a small percentage of comments for the people who are actually watching. Um, the people who comment, they always leave very positive things. So again, thank you for that. But I, I want to be able to make sure I'm getting both ends of the audience of people who want to see a game that progresses and wants to move forward. Um, but also for anybody else who just wants the general entertainment value of this game. So. I'm in a very like kind of rough spot overall on what I want to be able to do with this. And like if I if if it was just me, I would just keep playing this game until I beat it. But I feel like that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Unless I'm just back to back to back to back doing playthroughs so that I'm remembering and testing everything. Um, or I need to like watch a playthrough of this where someone's completed it and get a better understanding of of all of their mechanics, specifically Tanner's. I, I did look up online to see if I could find um, some information. And for reference, um, this is what one of the uh, websites called speedrun.com was talking about with Tanner. Uh, for every two clicks you do on the computer that are separated by a certain amount of seconds, um, let me see what that actually is. Yeah, it's a specific seconds. In the table above or more, there's a chance for Tanner to spawn. The chance is the percentage for the day you are on and the difficulty version of the game you are running, which is what I'm on right now, normal. Um, as the day progresses, obviously the percentage gets higher. Uh, if the game triggers a spawn, he's considered active. If the game does not trigger a spawn, you have a grace period of X seconds according to the table that's shown on the website. I know this is not very <laughs> precise and informative since you can't see this table, but it makes sense just in terms of like, it's just general seconds uh, or percentages. Um, if the game does not trigger a spawn, you have a grace period of X seconds in the table. Um, if you are on the cams, Tanner will appear at one of the possible spawns. 
It is not dependent of the camera you're on. He can spawn to be visible on any of the three cameras, so it doesn't matter. Um, you have to check all three. If you're not on the cameras, you have blank seconds in the table above to check them. Um, if you get the Tanner cam pop up, so when he goes, hello, uh, when opening the camera, that means he's not active nor spawned. If Tanner reaches the destination in the garden, the game will look, a look for a way to kill you ASAP. Um, so the backyard, if he's running up and you don't catch him. Um, if Tanner collides with the flashlight, of course, he turns around and despawns. If you succeed in blocking a uh, timer, you have a grace period of X seconds in the table. Uh, this is essential for Nightmare, where you, uh, where the time you have to check the cameras is so small that you'll just end up being killed if you don't take advantage of this cooldown. So yeah, there's like a blocking timer or something. Um, not super familiar with that. Sometimes when you go to the closet to reset the network, Tanner has an 8% chance of peeking you in the hallway and hide in the main room closet. Do not open the closet, it will kill you. Leave the closet closed and you'll be fine. Um, tip, when you exit the cameras, stay on the camera where the tree is on the right side of the screen. I was actually doing that this episode because sometimes Tanner spawns behind that tree and has a walk that lasts for about three seconds. Don't pre-flash though, uh, that could get you killed. Just be ready to flash if you see him. That's it. That's all the information that is given on um, some of like what Tanner does. And so it doesn't, it doesn't, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen anywhere that gives an official list of, hey, here's the exact sounds that you need to look out for. Um, like from watching games like Welcome to the Game series, I loved that because it was like, and I really am enjoying this game too, but um People played it a ton, so people figured out what the mechanics were. This one is still very new, so I don't know if everyone knows the full mechanics. And like I was saying with Welcome to the Game series, if you hear any type of like little sounds in the door, you know that the the, the hitman is trying to lockpick your room. You're supposed to get up, turn off a light, go in the bathroom, and hide for three minutes. And then you can come out. Um, for the, the masked people, you're supposed to just turn around and look away from them for 30 seconds. Um, for the breather, you're supposed to go inside of the little room in the uh, in the alleyway and hold a door that the guy tries to open to kill you on. And then there's the doll maker with his quest, and you, you just have to complete his quest. That's it. Oh, and then the police, you just have to change your Wi-Fi constantly. So there's uh, observable actionable things to do in that game welcome to the game to not get killed and to continue to move forward it gets difficult to keep a track uh, keep track of those sound cues and visual cues but this game i don't know them and that's what makes this so difficult right now um and again don't get me wrong i still am very much enjoying this game it's exhilarating when i'm making progress and frightening when i get caught or see them <laughs> anywhere in the game um but i really do if anyone has any resources specifically like a good website that doesn't have like end game spoilers to it i would love to, ch to check that out that way i can get a better understanding of this again i was watching some of john wolf's playthrough where he completed the game and i didn't get to the end where he finished it obviously but i didn't get too much information other than there are some audio cues but didn't get a clear picture of what they were exactly but that being said I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, leave some comments down below for the things that you enjoyed and any of these tips that you have continually. And yeah, I hope to see you all again for the next episode of this. If you enjoyed this episode in particular, make sure you hit the like button. If you got spooked and scared, make sure you subscribe. If you're just coming now over to the channel for the first time or you've been here a while, hit that bell notification as well with the subscription. And as always, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next episode. Later.